Hi guys, there's a lot of drama going on. Prime ends up calling out Trey Bills. Ash ends up confirming what DDG said in his song. And people are saying that Daisha Frost cheated on his girlfriend again. So let's get straight into the drama. Before I get into the new drama, let's talk about some old stuff that I need to cover, okay? Okay. Ashley. As you guys know, DDG made a music video, and in the music video, he was dissing Soul Illuminati. I've already spoken about that before, but we're gonna hone into these lyrics. Him smashing Soul's ex. Basically, he implied it in his song. Now, I didn't know if it was true. I honestly didn't think it was true. I was like, would Ash really do that? Because I honestly thought Ash was a really nice girl. I didn't think she would go that low, right? Well, it turns out that she did, because she ended up making a video confirming so. She ended up tweeting about how she was going to talk about that situation and what DGC said in his song. DDG apparently contacted her after she made that tweet. <laughs> he just asked me not to hold Jesus him on the video. Like, he's just always thinking in the future. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is this? Okay, Ash got a damn Ouija board over her damn bed. Look, I'm not even religious and I know not to play with that shit. They evil! I, I don't be playing with no Wooji bar. You know everybody gonna be like, she possessed by the devil, that's why she doing this video. Like, damn, she probably is. But anyway. Saying like, but, I mean, this video is because of you. Like, whatever you get of this karma is only because of you, because this wouldn't have happened if you didn't have to do that. And it was probably just shit on my ex-boyfriend, but we weren't, we haven't been together for like two years, a year and a half, like that's so much time. DDG. I hate him so bad. Like, I hate both of these two people that I'm about to make a video about. Yes, Ashley, hate. And that's really tough because I'm not a nice person. Like, I'm all cute and little and I look nice, but I'm not that nice if I hate I'm a Taurus, so. Taurus sun, moon, rising, 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 Sagittarius. Raven's a Sag. Okay, I don't know what she's talking about. Okay, throughout this video, it was so random. Like, she was speaking about that wasn't relevant to her topic. Like, she was randomly talking about how Simone or someone is a damn Sagittarius and she's a Taurus and they bump heads. Rising Sagittarius. Raven's a Sag, that's why you be. Anyway. What the hell are you talking about? All that aside, so anyway. She talks about how she thought DDG was a genuine person. Cause I like, he seemed like a genuine person, but like look or pe how people act towards you just means nothing. Like how they treat you is nothing. Like if it's like what they put out into the world does the opposite, which is like what my ex-boyfriend did. Hella of, you know what I'm saying? It actually talks about karma and honestly she's like, I am karma and I'm out here to expose you. And I'm just like, this is confusing because DDG technically exposed her. This nigga DDG decides to drop a song exposing my business. Bitch, and I'm like, okay. So, Ash, you honestly, if you stay quiet, I swear to God, no one would think anything of it. Because honestly, I didn't. I was like, I don't think Ash would do that. And now you just basically confirming it. I hate my ex. Anything I could do. So, I'm just gonna say so. I'm not even gonna say your stupid handle. I would have fucked your father if you knew who your dad was, but I, you don't. So I had to go for the next best thing. Why the f would you do that? Like I said, she possessed. Okay, she got the devil inside her. No, all serious. That was so random. I was not expecting that to come out of her. Like I would f your father. Damn, that ish is savage. Basically talks about DDG trying to dominate Solomonati. DDG wants to bring this. To like try to like dominate my ex because he's a rapper now or something and i don't know this because i watch his things i know this because my little cousins report to me you have your successes so that's f awesome like ooh, the algorithm's so funny bro but yeah like that's some that's that's tough anyway at the end of the video she ends up wishing them well okay all that to say at the end of the day though i do wish both parties all the success future success because i don't wish anybody like future harm i just definitely believe in like getting even and maybe this is now something that i need to like work with on the lord because Forgiveness is like something you need the Holy Ghost for. Like that's not a naturally human thing to just forgive people who like are like Jesus. Like just acting like Jesus is not just how people act. You know what I'm saying? Especially Gen Z. That is ruthless. You know what? 
Where's the holy water? I need the holy water. Honestly, Ash, I'm watching this video and I can't help but to feel so sad. Like, it is obvious that she's been hurt and, you know, she's out for revenge. Well, she was out for revenge and she tried to F with DDG to get back at Seoul. Women don't do that unless they're hurt. So do men. Men don't do that unless they're really hurt. And I've been in that situation before. Someone completely ignored me after I did so much and I was like, damn. Did you really do that? I'm gonna f your friend. But the best revenge is massive success. You know, working on yourself, building yourself confidence, building your empire, the lifestyle that you want, like, and just loving yourself. I don't really know the whole situation with her and Saul and what happened. If you guys want me to do a dig deep depth video on that, get this video to 8,000 likes, and I'll honestly do it because I think Saul. I think Saul did something to her. That's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong. I know a lot of you guys like to ride Saul. Slow down. But for real, like, after seeing peeping some ish, it's like, damn, it's like he effed her up. Or maybe she effed him up. You know, we really don't know. But I definitely want to dig into these videos and try to figure out what happened. But I can't help but to feel that Ashley needs a lot of help. You know what I mean? She looks... I don't know, this is just my opinion, but just looking at it and how she's speaking, I just feel so bad for her and I hope she gets better. You know, I hope you get well. I hope everything's okay. And yeah, I just watched that and I just felt really bad for her, man. Honestly. Let's go into Daisha Frost. So he recently uploaded a video called, I hired a fine assistant to see how my girlfriend will react. Apparently on the same day, he posted on Twitter saying, I'm not in a relationship 100, woo. Now he deleted it real quick but it was too late because someone grabbed it, posted it and said I caught this bro! The extra plug page ended up uploading it onto his YouTube channel. People started speculating if he cheated on her again or what's going on. People were saying The lockdown is the only reason Deshae decided to settle down and live with his girl. When the things open back on July, Jordan won't be able to stop him from going wild and getting syphilis. Disgusting. They should be doing that for publicity for his songs. Church was childish as earth, woo. They said doing too much to stay relevant. This is why Desha is a joke to me. Desha don't need to be in our relationship. He's too childish. Are we surprised considering it's Desha? No, we are. I know y'all gonna be like, it's not Desha, Martin. It's Desha. But look, it's Desha, okay? <laughs> No one really knows what's going on. He could have done it for publicity, but he could have deleted it. So my speculation, and I could be completely wrong, I think they probably got into it, they probably broke up, and then they got back together again. That's what probably happened. But hey, maybe they are doing it for publicity. But wouldn't you leave it up there? Why would you delete it? But anyway, let's get into Trey Bills and Prime. It was a beautiful day, and a YouTuber by the name of Tori Leon, who allegedly is friends with Prime, and Trey Bills, he's also got around 30,000 subscribers and I think he's a part of their management. I uploaded a picture on his Instagram saying, Now I'm a butter duo, we used to talk about this like three years ago. Now look, this is getting big. I got you back more than your spine do. Anyway, a few days later, on the 14th of September, Trey Bills posted, It's a dirty game out here. I watch an aunt put his homeboy on for him to turn around and act like bro don't even exist. Shaking my head and loyal to build differently. Ew. People commented under his post saying, Why are you not posting, bro? You already on. He's trying to get your YMH member on. How can you talk about people? Then gonna say loyalty. That's this gang-ish, street-ish. Instead of supporting, you rather bash people and throw shade. Come on, Billy, tighten up. Yeah, it is quite funny that Trevor Bill's talking about loyalty, but yet he's promoting scams to his fans. That's is funny as hell to me. Fake ass bitch. That's why people should have called everyone bro and sis they come across with. Then people won't care about ya. Words don't pro someone's loyalty. Actions does. Y'all talk friendly out here. Facts, Philly. Facts. But it's okay. God got you. Uh -huh. No. Security. Anyway, Prime got a hold of this and end up posting it on his Instagram that was man enough to tag Trey Bills. Some drama is about to happen. 
This is what he said. This post so goofy to me, Trey Bills. You got my whole phone number, but want to tweet about how you feel some type of way because I'm putting Tory Leon on because that's my brother too. Supposed to be both our brothers shaking my head. I hate when the air feel like they got a post about me in a subliminal that ish so gay to me. Not at all. Tori Leon posted, I ain't a sad on this planet Earth saying anything flawed by my loyalty. I waited my turn and act like I skipped the line. Now this end up going on the shade teens range. Ray Bills went under there commenting saying, Bruh, how come every time I speak on how I feel on my ish, I'm in the wrong. This ish play. Then Black Choco got involved. He commented saying, Oh, I am the mile white. This is sign of who turn his back around Chris Gilly. People started coming for Prime saying, Calm down Prime, don't pull out the nine. I hit dog don holla, try a say no names. That's embarrassing as F. Imagine making a general A tweet, then boom, a ant felt hit. Yup, Prime really acts like a light skin. When your brain is small and your prejudice is he must feel guilty about something because Trey didn't say names. The man paid that hit for no reason. This wasn't even about him. It was a regular tweet. I ain't prime. That shoe must have fit because Trey ain't say no names. Now this is why you don't make sub posts. Because when you make sub posts, people are going to assume it's them. And obviously there's some issue going on if Prime felt some type of way. And I could only assume it was about Prime because Trey Bills never confirmed that it wasn't. He never said it wasn't about Prime. He never said it was a general statement. He didn't say that. So that makes me think that it is about Prime and that guy. And because the first thing that I would do if that happened to me, I'd be like, no, 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 it's not about Prime. It was just a general statement. That's what I would have said. Or, nah, it wasn't about you, it was about someone else. Sorry for the subtweet. That's what, as a man, that's what I would have done. I would have not stayed quiet, so that tells me it was about him. But hey, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications. Smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in another drama video.